Years ago this month, Corey Stringer, an Ohio State lineman turned NFL star, collapsed during training camp. He died from complications brought on by heat stroke, but his legacy is making sidelines safer in his home state. Gary Miller has the story in our latest Athletes at Risk. Corey Stringer had the dream so many Ohio boys have to play in the NFL. He wanted to play football. He worked his life out uh, to play football. Stringer started as an All-State lineman at Warren High School in Northeast Ohio and became an All-American at Ohio State. As a junior, he entered the NFL draft. He was selected in the first round by the Minnesota Vikings. On the last day of July in 2001, during his fifth NFL season, Stringer collapsed in the heat. Just crushing because, you know, obviously, you know, there was information and knowledge available at that time that, you know, we, they could have done a better job of treating him and likely saved his life. His wrongful death lawsuit created the Corey Stringer Institute. It works to prevent sudden death in athletes. It really was the predominant factor that Kelsey wanted to be able to say, we can't bring Corey back, but we can make a difference. That difference is being made right here in Cincinnati. The grant uh, through the Corey Stringer Institute and the University of Connecticut have been able to increase our athletic trainers by one full-time athletic trainer that will be at uh, the smaller schools in our district. The Corey Stringer Institute awarded Cincinnati Public Schools one of a dozen grants through its new Innovate project. The Innovate project increases health care access by providing an athletic trainer to high schools in underserved communities. Riverview, Euler, Spencer Academy, you know, they're new developing programs with smaller numbers, but it addresses a need that we um, needed to address. The Cincinnati Public School District consists of 14 high schools. Of those, six have a full-time athletic trainer. Five schools have a part-time athletic trainer. Three had no coverage and two of those three schools have a 98% poverty rate. You have this large school system where literally the difference between having access to the health care that an athletic trainer can provide or not could potentially come down to, to financial resources. We talk a lot in our office about uh, comeback give back and Corey Stringer being a product of Ohio and, and, and being able to come back and, and give back to the kids in our community and our city uh, really means a lot to us. We do want kids to know about Corey Stringer and what his legacy was and how he's impacting our kids today. You know, Corey's a hero to me and we can't fail at this. Gary Miller, Local 12 News. Now, the grant funds an athletic trainer for three years. That trainer has been hired and starts in a few weeks. To learn more, head to athletesatrisk.com.